You know, today we're going to talk about the necessity of germs. Now, humans have co-evolved with these microbes for a very long time. These microbes have been on this planet for a lot longer than humans. And so we have a beneficial relationship with these microbes. They give us certain things, we give them a home to live in. So let's talk a little bit more about this topic. There's something called the hygiene theory, which I think is not a theory, it's actually a truth. Because when you expose a child, for example, to a sterile environment, uh, they're at risk for getting allergies and even autoimmune type conditions. And so microbes play a really important part in building our immunity. This is why you should let your kids play in the dirt and kids that are grown up in a sterile environment, uh, they just don't have the same health. They're at more at risk for getting asthma, allergies, and a lot of other issues. Now, a baby is born with the innate part of the immune system, which is received from the mother. So the strength or weakness of that immune system that the mother developed is given to the infant. But then we also have another part of the immune system called the acquired immune system, which is pretty much a blank slate. It's neutral when you're born. You have to develop it and it takes time. So the acquired immune system is something that you acquire by exposing yourself to germs, microbes. So our bodies develop antibodies and many other immune cells to then create immunity. And I think uh, the medical profession, a lot of people are ignoring this vital importance of strengthening your immune system versus trying to boost your immune system in other ways. You have 100 trillion microbes growing inside your body as well as on the surface of your body. So in other words, your skin is an important immune gland. So for example, if you try to scrub your face, to try to scrub off the dirt, to make it really clean, you end up destroying the, the flora or the microorganisms in your face, and you end up then becoming immune deficient, and you start getting acne, redness, rashes, things like that, because you've just taken away that friendly flora. So as a side note, let's just talk about how this relates to uh, farming. So you have conventional farming practices where they use pesticides, herbicides, fungicides. They use fertilizer like NPK, nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, which is a very common practice. But you know what? There's a lot more minerals than just three. So they put this NPK in there as a fertilizer to help give the plant some basic nutrients. But what you have to realize is the root system and the surrounding things around the root is not only the digestive system of that plant, but it's the immune system. And so in natural farming, they pay attention to the microbes. They fortify the microbes. I'm talking about bacteria, fungus, and a lot of other microbes. So when dirt has microbes, it's called soil. When dirt doesn't have microbes, it's called dirt. And so in conventional farming, we have this one-way flow of communication. We stick the nutrients in there, they suck into the plant, and then the plant is harvested, right? Well, in natural farming, we have a two-way communication. We have the plant through sunlight and CO2, carbon dioxide, being exposed to the plant. The plant goes through photosynthesis. It makes carbohydrates. 25% of those carbohydrates are driven down to the plant into the roots, where they're fed to the microbes. The microbes are not on the ketogenic plan. Microbes love sugar. So in exchange for this carbohydrate, the microbes through their enzymes and acids start breaking down the minerals to help mobilize the minerals from rocks and, and other things. And it helps to bring the nutrients through this root system so then it can be sucked up as a bi-directional flow. So we have the minerals coming up through the help of the microbes and we have the carbohydrates going down. It's a perfect exchange. So in natural farming, you have this plant that has way more nutrients less weeds because it has a stronger immune system. Now, in conventional farming, we don't have an immune system, so we have to kill the weeds with chemicals and Roundup Ready, things like that. In natural farming, we have a better immunity. We have better flavor of that food. So the vegetables that you eat at the grocery store that are basically flavorless really don't have near the nutrients or the phytonutrients that you would, you would have if you were to grow them in a garden. But the whole point about this is that these microbes are very important in creating a healthy immune system. So healthy soils, healthy plants, healthy food for humans, healthy food for animals. And then if we eat healthy animals, we become healthy. So our health is really dependent 
on these microbes. Hey, before you go, if you're benefiting from any of my content, I would love to hear about your success story. Please share it in the link down below.